Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and you'll be updated every time we publish a new video. As you can see here, we're opening a few bales. Um, just a tooth open here and just need to shove it into the other house. So not a whole pile of work involved. Um, and today's video is going to be all about basically a day in this time of the year um what i get up to this time of the year you kind of be following me for the day see all of what i'll be at and we'll finish up this evening um like always it's going to be a wide range of stuff it's not just going to be this or it's not just going to be the next thing probably be three or four different things going on at the one time so i'm going to throw these out um, I'll just spread them out a bit and push them in and I'll talk to you there again when we're on our next piece of our day. Now I'm back um, back in the shed. I had to run to town to do a few, just collect a few parts and, and a few various other bits. Um, I'm going to do a small bit of welding to this trailer. I spoke briefly about it. Um, it's just a guy we do do his silage and do his slurry and, and all that kind of work and um, he had this tipping trailer and it was you know it was aged I suppose you'd call it wasn't too far gone it was um, good enough that you'd be able to fix it up and make it reasonably usable again um, and I actually think that's quite a good idea because in his own words he might use this three times a year but those three times a year you need it it's very handy just to move a load of dung or, or you know go into town for a bit of fertilizer or something like that so we put a back door in it um, we made a back door uh, we cut this out well I say we as my father has done most of this um, he kind of took this project on more so than me I'm just doing the, the welding on it really uh, that's for the front of the front of it just to disguise the front a bit it's got a new floor it's um, and obviously it's got a back door as well so <clears throat> I know you enjoy watching the welding and stuff um, I wouldn't be any master welder or fabricator um, one of the boys that works here will be he's probably one of the best I've seen at welding work and um, he's kind of showed me really what to do over the years um, so it's kind of from him I've learned this more than anything um, so, like I said, you enjoy watching the welding. We'll do a bit of a speeded up version of it here now, um, and you'll be able to watch me. Once we've all this finished, this trailer will be painted, um, so you'll probably see that going on as well. But for the meantime, I'm going to do a bit of welding to this. I won't spend too long at it, because I have to get the Volvo ready. The Volvo is going out. Uh, it'll probably be gone for a couple of weeks on the job. So just make sure everything is right on this um, eye levels grease it um, antifreeze and stuff like that so we'll do a small bit of welding and we'll chat to you once we finish
Okay, so as you can see, I have the panels open here now. I'm going to give this a wash off. Um, it's probably, I think it's leaking diesel or oil. Some few leaks in it anyway. It'll give me a good chance to see where these leaks are coming from. Um, so, kind of handy to do that at the moment, opposed to in the middle of silage, a uh, hose burst or something. And you're um, in trouble, or there's pressure on. Um, in other related news, the first owner of the CVX was watching the last video and he got in touch and uh, that was great to talk to him. He was able to give me the full history of the tractor. We kind of pieced together the bits in the middle, um, where it was in between. Uh, sent me photos of the tractors working in, um, I suppose, in the early 2000s, which was lovely to see. And thank you very much for contacting me. Um, and it was lovely talking to you. It's, it's kind of something I like knowing the history of stuff. Um, I wouldn't know the history of this. I know the Massey came from England, the TVT came from Scotland, the TM was owned by a huge contractor in Northern Ireland, um, the 1170 was came from a farm in Laut, a fair bit of the history of that, so it's just nice to know the history of these things, um, but definitely the most documented one there would be the 130. So I'm going to get stuck into this and I'll let you know how I get on. Um, once I've washed off, if I can see the leaks blatantly, obviously I'll fix them. But if not, I can just revisit in a few days and um, hopefully get them all sorted easily enough. I'm just dropping off, going dropping off the Volvo here now. Um, we, I think I discussed that we made up a little bracket on the front of it to take um, the tractor Euro headstock. So that'll suit uh, this man for what he needs it for, for the next while. And, um, it won't be overworked anyway, so um, it'll do his job perfectly. It's, I think I said before as well, it's pretty slow on the road, but once you're going downhill, it's fine. It's the uphill bits is the bother. But um, anyway, she's kind of ready to go there now. I greased her and checked all the oils and, and checked her for um, checked her for antifreeze and all that, and she should be perfect. So. Once I have this done, um, I'll probably go putting the saw blade on the um, hedge cutter because I'll have a bit of sawing to do tomorrow. So that'll either be this video or the next video. Um, I don't know how long this one has gone at this stage, but either or you'll be seeing that fairly soon. So that's kind of it for now, and I'll be talking to you shortly. Okay, so I'm going swapping heads. I'm going to take it off the um, slail head and we're going to put on the saw head. Um, I'm not going to speed this one up because for curiosity more than anything I want to know how long it takes to change them so I'm going to whip this one off and um, go over to the other shade for the saw head so you'll be able to see me doing this here now which should be relatively easy all going to plan
Okay. Well, that's pretty much it now for today. Um, I'm still going to get a bottle of um, MIG welding gas, which if anybody knows the proper name of it, obviously I do know the proper name of it, but it's just a small bit of a challenge. If you know the proper name of it, give it. Um, let us know in the comments what MIG welding gas's actual name is, what type of gas it is. So that was kind of basically a typical day at this time of the year and um, you're stuck in a few different things not in massive usually but sometimes they are massive but um, that's kind of generally stuff like that you'll be doing every day a um, bit of everything so I still have some work I need to do to my car um, I might do that tonight or else I'll go edit in this video and obviously the trailer I'll probably go welding a bit of that once I've gas gas got so that's basically it for this video um, tomorrow we'll be out sawing and I know a lot of you would like to see kind of more of the saw and the whole lot of that so it's no big work it's just a small I suppose 50 meter stretch on, on the roadside that was already done but um, when he saw the when the man that owns the place saw the job done he said after going that far he might go a bit lower so we must take another couple of feet off it um, and the saw will make light work of that but um, that's basically it. So thanks everyone for watching. And hopefully I'll get this uploaded either tonight or tomorrow. And so on one might be over the weekend. Um, we have a kind of exciting thing to come up there as well. And we're going trying out a, a new product on one of the tractors. Um, and I hope it should be a good success. It looks like it'll be a great success. So I'll do a video about that. And I'll show you what it is. And... The difference it makes so that's it for today thanks everyone and we'll see you next week